Hi, I am Matthew. First, before starting this Caribbean series video, I'd like to ask you all to look down at the bottom of your screen, hit the subscribe and like buttons and leave comments. Because the Stardust channel will bring new videos each week, you don't miss out. In this video, we are going right to the Caribbean series. We are going to the beautiful town of Las Terrenas in the Dominican Republic. You will see an amazing town with incredible beaches and outstanding places to eat and amazing foods. So I would like to present to you this video of the amazing beach town of Las Terrenas in the Dominican Republic. Sit back and enjoy the video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe and like buttons, so you don't miss the next video. So you can watch more amazing videos coming your way right here on the Stardust channel. We greatly appreciate you watching the Stardust channel. Thank you. Another day, another story. Las Terrenas Dominican Republic. To a great extent obscure among North Americans, Las Terrenas was found during the 1970s by Europeans searching for a reasonable Caribbean escape. Las Terrenas is a lively worldwide local area with occupants from everywhere, including French, German, clean, Swiss, Italian, Dutch, and English expats. The diverse populace implies you can find colorful food imports from Europe in the general stores, newly made Swiss cheddar and German Frankfurter at the neighborhood shops, astounding worldwide eateries, and a functioning and blended gathering of people to invite you to their deeply grounded local area. The Caribbean and the sand periphery are everywhere in Las Terrenas. You can undoubtedly involve the ocean side as a lane to start with one area of town and then on to the next, it's the most wonderful person on foot course. You can turn along these lines over the day, and there it is once more, the ocean, presently blue, then green. They are influencing palms on the shores of Las Terrenas. Be that as it may, Las Terrenas is no common Caribbean oceanside town. Start to expose what's underneath, and you will find one of the fascinating expat networks worldwide. Italians, Brits, Danes, and Germans reinforce this larger part of the French expat populace. The solid European presence has numerous ramifications for how individuals welcome each other in passing, brighten their homes, keep their nurseries, relax, Patank is famous, and, too, in the nearby food. Cafes in Caribbean oceanside towns are generally lengthy on jerk chicken and coconut rice, however in Las Terrenas, expect French and Italian eateries offering hamburger carpaccio, handcrafted pasta, and new bread that wouldn't be awkward in Paris or Tuscany frequently upheld by wine menus that incorporate numerous choices for fine, in any event, shimmering wine. In Las Terrenas, you can eat seared empanadas from a road truck if you'd like, I'd urge you to attempt it. Or, on the other hand, you can enjoy three and four course dinners, French or Italian, supplemented by great determination wine records. It's not just the eatery passage that, until you change your assumptions, doesn't exactly fit with the topography, yet additionally the help. The team of servers is mindful, able, and reliable. Tease a wonderful little treat. Different things are also astonishing, including the nature of the development. Thanks to new storm guidelines being forcefully authorized. Likewise, regarding the kinds of engineers drawn to this specific Caribbean ocean side. Not average gringo engineers in the third world, advancing as they go and compromising when they can, yet experienced designers brag solid histories. They're likewise European instead of North American clear in the inside finishings. Generally, tiles, ledges, restroom installations, kitchen cupboards, and goods are contemporary Euro stylish. Those early X taps on this side of the Caribbean battled even with a complete absence of foundation. You won't confront similar difficulties. The main framework advancement in the area came in 2009 with the Samana Santo Domingo Expressway. It used to require four to six hours to drive from the cash flow to Las Terrenas, contingent upon the state of the wandering back road. Presently the drive is a lovely two hours on a smooth four-path expressway. This new parkway made travel simpler and assisted with the general cost for most everyday items in Las Terrenas. The superior access made bringing merchandise into town simpler and less expensive. The simple excursion to the capital city Santo Domingo implies you're never excessively far from a genuine city and its shopping, galleries, theaters, and arenas. Santo Domingo is additionally home to a noteworthy assortment of pioneer structures, having been established by Chris Columbus' more youthful sibling Bartholomew and afterward remodeled by Diego Columbus, Chris's oldest child. This city's Zona Provincial is a treat for occupants and guests and a significant wellspring of the travel industry pay for the country. Occupants of Las Terrenas used to need to head out to Santo Domingo for worldwide air travel. No more because of the El Cady Air Terminal kickoff in Las Terrenas, 
from which standard flights are proposed to Canada and the U.S. East Coast, alongside many homegrown flights. The town of Las Terrenas is on the Upper East shoreline of the Dominican Republic, a short way from the fundamental town of Samana region and 120 kilometers from the city of Santo Domingo. It is a significant vacation location in the Dominican Republic, with north of 15 kilometers of pristine seashores with white sand and a high centralization of coconut trees per square kilometer. She has more than 40 worldwide cafes, a wide and shifted scope of convenience, lavish lodgings, estates only minutes from the ocean side, and one comprehensive hotel, Great Bahia Principe El Portillo. The locale likewise brings choices to the table for a wide assortment of decisions for sports like golf, plunging, kitesurfing, and tennis. Las Terrenas Samana is a tranquil town, yet with a solid turn of events, numerous travel industry projects have arisen as of late, and many are developments and gauges. In Las Terrenas, notwithstanding the principal ocean side of a similar name, is the seashores of Playa Bonita, quite possibly of the gorgeous ocean side on the peninsula of Samana, which, with Playa Cosan, are without a doubt the best nearby. It is feasible to go to Cayo Levantado, go to Samana, an island of only one square kilometer with an appeal and one-of-a-kind beauty, and go to the Cascade El Limón, Playa Rincón in Las Galeras. Numerous journeys and visits are open from this modest community north of the Dominican Republic. Las Terrenas is known for whales coming to mate in winter and spring close to the coast. This show is one of the primary vacation destinations of Las Terrenas. Stardust Channel hopes that you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. We also appreciate it if you leave comments. We greatly appreciate you watching this video in the Stardust Channel. Until the next video, thanks for watching.